Hey guys, welcome back to another day in the life. You can see that I'm just about waking up right now. It is 8.30 in the morning, I think. Yeah, I wake up and then I just go back to sleep because I couldn't care less. But because it's the half term, right in between the GCSEs, I need to get some work done because it's like the last push before these exams finish. And then after that, I can relax as much as I want. So you can right now see me trying to get up. Um, okay, I'm actually finally getting up. Whoop, I just fell, that's great. So for breakfast, I have the little croissants because nothing beats the little bakery. And I have already got a plan for myself in what I'm going to do today. And you can see that I'm planning on doing eight hours of revision for all of these days in the holidays because if you think of it like a race, at the very end of the race, you're really pushing yourself and trying to put as much effort in because every last minute counts and afterwards you can relax as much as you want. So that's like the take I've taken on this like exam season. It's like the last couple of weeks. So I'm really trying to push myself because I know that I can relax after this anyways. So the way I split my hours is four hours in the morning and then four hours in the evening. And for each hour, I have a 50-10 ratio. So that's 50 minutes of work and then 10 minutes break and basically I try and get one subject done in the morning and then another subject done in the evening as you can see through my timetable and yeah I start off with some DT Remnote because I have a lot of them to get through if you don't know what Remnote is it's in the top right just check it out one thing that's really helped me during this exam season to stay focused is I'd normally just chuck my phone behind me under my duvet somewhere because then I can't really keep track of where it is because I normally if I have it on my desk I always check it and I get distracted like that so if I have it behind me somewhere where I don't even know about it then I completely forget about it. This one day I actually managed to go through the entire day without even realizing I hadn't used my phone so yeah I really recommend you try and have your phone as furthest away from you as possible because it just really helps with staying focused and getting the work you want to do done. It takes me two hours to get all those flashcards done because I had let them all pile up and it got a bit overwhelming so it took me ages to get through all of them. But then after that I decided to test my knowledge with a DT plus paper because there's only two plus papers I found online. One of them I've done before in one of my end of years or something and the other one was uh, one that I just saved for some day like today so I got that done today. and. I did okay I guess. I didn't do the best because it's DT. I hate the way DT is made because I know the information but the questions are always like four marks and I only remember one thing about it and then I have no clue what else to waffle about so I just continue waffling about complete nonsense and yeah I somehow managed to just lose so many marks everywhere so yeah it's a horrible exam. I really hate it but I kind of have to do it so I, I just want to get a good score and just leave and forget about it. And then after that, for my fourth hour, I do an English language question five for paper two because I really want to do really well for paper two because I didn't feel that I did the best I could for paper one. So I really want to redeem myself for paper two and just hope that I get a good enough score in total. And yeah, so my main weakness is really that question five and the question four as well. So I've been planning on doing as many of those as possible and sending them to my teacher and just letting her mark it because it's possibly the best way you can actually get better at these questions. There's not really anything else you can do and then after the four hours I'm finally done and that's my first block of revision done so now I have this break in between before I go back and revise for another four hours and basically the good thing about this is that in the in between time I have now I can do whatever I want I'm not going to feel guilty for it so as you can see I normally like walking outside and just like appreciating nature I really recommend you guys walk outside a bit and just do something a bit more active than just sitting down all day and revising because it can really take a toll on your back there's one thing uh, there's one thing i just cannot do and that's film in public so i've been trying to do a bit of that more um i'm clearly very uncomfortable with it because it just looks really weird filming in public with other people watching but i am getting a bit more used to it so yeah i might have more shots like these in the future for upcoming videos we'll see it might just be me but i really like taking photos of random leaves and things
I don't know why it's really satisfying I get a barbecue wrap and it's really really nice even though it does look a bit messy and yeah I just relax for a bit because I have a few more hours of just doing nothing and then I get back into the swing of revision again and then in the afternoon I do maths that's my main priority subject so the way I've split my revision out this week is I have two subjects I cover each day well two exams that I cover each day and I basically have one easy exam and one difficult exam so I've kind of like rated them in terms of how difficult I find all of them so at the start of the day I normally do the one I struggle most with and then by the end of the day because I'm already tired and stuff I do the one that I find a bit easier so I am quite strong with maths just normal GCSE maths not further maths um, so I have this in the evening so if I'm not bothered to do this work it's not as bad because it's just maths it's not as hard for me as other subjects By the way, this CGP 8 to 9 book for Edexcel Maths is really difficult. Like, the questions in them are so, like, they're the type of questions you find at the very end of a past paper. So, uh, if you really want a challenge and you're really aiming for that grade 9, I highly recommend this book because it's like the most unsatisfying thing you can do because every single question requires full brain power and it's really annoying, but once you get the right answer, it's really satisfying. So after that, I had in my plan to do a predicted paper for maths, so the paper 2 one. And so I get that done and it wasn't too bad. Um, I normally, when I'm doing a past paper, because I don't have a printer, I just like get a piece of paper and I just do it like that. So I write all the questions and I try and do as fast as possible because after like an hour or so, it gets really boring. So I try and squish everything in that 50 minutes and try and get everything done as fast as possible. So I spend very little time putting working out and things because I just want to roughly see if I can do everything that's more my aim rather than spending all that time actually fully planning everything out and doing everything as slowly as possible that's that's for the exam I would do that for the exam where I have all the time in the world I might as well try and do everything as slowly as possible but right now because it's just going to waste time I might as well do everything nice and quickly and that way I can also see if I'm prone to making silly mistakes or not after that predicted paper I go back to the 8 to 9 workbook and I just continue doing more questions from that because I really want to get it completed but I'm nowhere near complete because each page takes like ages And for my eighth and last hour of the day, I was planning on doing a question four for paper two, but guess what? I didn't. So I was quite lazy. I just decided to relax for the rest of the day and just do other random things because who wants to do English language? Like, I, I don't want to. Yeah, so if you guys enjoyed that, make sure you like and subscribe if you haven't already because we're really close to 3,000 subscribers. So I would really appreciate it if you guys subscribe. And yeah, I'll see you again next week, I guess. If you have any other video ideas, make sure you leave them in the comments below. And also, if you have the rest of your GCSEs in the next couple of weeks, make sure you rise for them firstly and just good luck for them because it is going to be quite stressful, especially on the days when you have more than one exam. I've got a few days where I have two exams. I don't know how I'm going to survive it, but we'll get through it somehow i have a friend who has three exams in one day i don't know how you're going to survive that but yeah that's just painful yeah we'll get through it even if an exam doesn't go as well as you would have hoped it to go it's fine grades don't define you and yeah so i'll see you again next time uh, uh yeah i don't really have anything else to say bye for now